Hello, welcome to Neil Scribe. A lot of the technology that we enjoy today, like the internet and GPS, stem from military R&D. And now the DoD is zeroing in on electric vertical takeoff and landing or eVTOL aircraft technology to be part of that succession. But first we need to talk about drones. This is the Phantom 4 Pro version 2.0. It's a high-end consumer drone manufactured by the Chinese company the Jiang Innovations or DJI. DJI dominates the global consumer drone market with around 70% market share. Meanwhile, there's the urban air mobility or UAM market that is projected to emerge in the near future. The aerospace advisory and investment firm Nexa Advisors released an in-depth global study with some eye-opening figures. The study identified 74 cities around the world that could support a profitable UAM ecosystem. And within those cities, there are $317 billion of potential revenue over the next 20 years. Of that, $244 billion would come from operator revenue, $32 billion in infrastructure and airspace management, and $41 in eVTOL vehicle sales. Now, whether or not the UAM market will actually take off remains to be seen. If the UAM market does take off, the Pentagon plans to ensure that innovations in electric aviation originates in the United States. The Air Force's Assistant Secretary for Acquisition, Will Roper, stated, What we don't want to have happen is the same thing that happened in the small drone migration to China. End quote. This all boils down to supply chain and cybersecurity. For example, earlier this year, the U.S. Department of Interior signed a no-fly order to officially ground all of its drones, which is around 800 or so, due to cybersecurity concerns with drones manufactured in China or made from Chinese parts. Roper believes that if the military had provided funding to U.S. companies for drone development, a domestic industry could have emerged avoiding this situation. And this is why the Air Force developed Agility Prime. Agility Prime is an Air Force research and development program that seeks to accelerate the commercial market for advanced air mobility vehicles. The Air Force hopes to utilize advanced air mobility vehicles in support roles such as personnel cargo delivery, medical evacuation, firefighting, and civil and military disaster relief. But the agency made it clear that they want to facilitate a commercial market that they can pull from. The idea is to accelerate the market so that the Air Force can buy the exact same vehicles that are available domestically. And Agility Prime is kicking things off with the challenge to eVTOL manufacturers to compete in a series of demonstrations that will hopefully lead to a significant production contract. Their first round is scheduled to take place by December 17th for teams to demonstrate vehicles that can meet the following criteria. 1. Carry a payload of 3 to 8 personnel. 2. Have a range greater than 160 kilometers. 3. Capable of speeds greater than 160 kilometers per hour and for being able to operate longer than an hour. And the Air Force plans to do much more than just this challenge. They want to serve as a bridge for companies to scale up their production, allowing the UA market to get off the ground. Anyway, in addition to R&D funding, the agency plans to guide companies through regulations and help them gain certifications for local and state governments. And they eventually want to begin testing operational eVTOL aircraft by 2023. But there's actually an American company that has already developed an eVTOL aircraft that meets all of the round one criteria. And that company is Joby Aviation based out of California. And they developed a four passenger eVTOL that can reach speeds up to 321 kilometers per hour with a range of 241 kilometers. And another American company worth mentioning is Kitty Hawk, which is backed by Larry Page. Kitty Hawk is another California-based company, and they developed the eVTOL called Heaviside that meets all of the round one requirements except one. Heaviside can reach speeds up to 354 kilometers per hour and has a range of 160 kilometers. However, it's a single-seat aircraft. But Kitty Hawk was very secretive with Heaviside, so they may have a larger aircraft in the works that we don't know about. As an amateur futurist, I'm excited to see what comes out of the Agility Prime program over the next three years. However, in my opinion, the biggest constraint in urban air mobility is battery technology. But that's a story for another video. Alright, that's all I have for now. I've made videos about EV tolls and UAM in the past, and the overall sentiments in the comments were not optimistic. 
So if you were skeptical about UAM before, does the Agility Prime program and the Nexus study change your outlook? Let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed your journey. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I am Neil Scribe and I'll see you on the next journey.